name's Chloe, otherwise known as Princess Aspian, and welcome to my channel. Just be me. So, I'm seeing Hugh Jackman tonight, and I'm really excited about it. Basically, my dad's birthday was a few days ago, and I surprised him with tickets to see Hugh Jackman tonight for it. Let's have a little bit of a chit-chat while I do my makeup, because I have to go soon, and I'm really excited, but I also want to talk to you guys, so we're going to do like a little, like, multitasking, makeuping chit chat. Isn't that what beauty gurus do? That's what beauty gurus do. I'm officially a beauty guru now. I am so excited for this concert. I, first of all, because I haven't been to a concert in forever. I don't think I've been to a concert this year. No, I haven't because everyone's cancelled on me. Oh, I should have moisturized my face first. Can I moisturize the top? Can I? I'm gonna try doing that. Can I do it with it? Probably not. That's fine. So I'm excited about this concert, not only because it's my first one in a long time and concerts are my favorite thing in the entire world and it just makes me really, really happy to be in that environment. But I'm also really excited because I'm going with my dad and he's like my favorite person ever. And then I'm also really excited because I'm obsessed with Hugh Jackman and I'm obsessed with musical theater. Anyone who knows me knows that musical theater is my life and this entire concert, all he's doing is singing musical theater songs. And I'm pretty sure he's singing like practically the entire Greatest Showman soundtrack. If I don't get either A, kicked out, or B, pop a blood vessel, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Greatest Showman is my favorite thing in the entire world. And I know I say that about everything, but this is like genuinely one of my favorite things in the entire world out of all the things that I say is my favorite thing in the entire world. For those of you who don't know or only just recently started watching me or like, you know, just haven't seen that video, um, hi, how are ya? I got the opportunity to go to the Greatest Showman premiere with my best friend Sam who played Tom Thumb in it and it was like genuinely the coolest night of my entire life. The movie itself was incredible. I like snorted everywhere. It was great. But then we went to the after party afterwards and like I danced with Zendaya. I used her phone to like change the soundtrack. That wh what is my life? What the heck? I spoke to Hugh Jackman's wife without realizing she was Hugh Jackman's wife. Well, I was just like having a good old chit chat to her. And then in very me fashion, I was like, oh, like, so what are you doing? She was like, and then in very, very me fashion, I was walking to go to the bar and get a drink, not an alcoholic drink. I am a child. I drink lemonade and orange juice if I'm feeling really rowdy. I was on the way to the bar and I tripped over something cause I was wearing like seven and a half inch high heels. Like it was, I don't know who I thought I was, but on my way there, I tripped over something and I was like, oops, silly me. I and then I looked down and I was like, oh, I tripped over a foot. Not even my own foot this time. I tripped over a real foot. Do you wanna know whose foot it was? It was Hugh Jackman's. I tripped over Hugh Jackman's foot. It was, well, it was an experience. Like a hand raised down to help me up and I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And I took the hand and I looked up and I was like, oh. I have a habit of tripping over people that I admire. It's probably not a good thing at all. But you know what? You just work with what you got. Anyway, ever since I saw The Greatest Showman, all I have been doing is listening to the soundtrack on repeat. Like, it is my favorite thing whenever I'm going in the car, whenever I'm on the way to a gig or anything. It is literally, like, the only thing I listen to. It's the only thing I care about. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. And then the fact that I get to go with my dad is even, like, even cooler and even, like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know what sort of makeup I want to do it for. I wanted to go with, like, a Greatest Showman theme, but I don't have any, like, Greatest Showman clothes. So I picked out an outfit which my dog is now lying on, that's great. So I picked out an outfit which I think is kind of like in theme with it because I really like dressing in theme with things, like if you couldn't tell. But I think I want to do like cool makeup. I mean, I always do like crazy ass makeup anyway. Okay, I think I'm just going to do like an extravagant eye look with it. Um, I say that like I'm James Charles. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wearing red and glitter. Maybe we'll go with a red eye look maybe? I'm going to do my brows first because brows are easy. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You do not care at all. I don't think I've ever been to a concert with my dad before, so I'm kind of worried about his reaction and how he's going to feel about seeing me and the way that I act at concerts. He already knows the way I act at concerts because he watches my videos and like he's, he's sees me crying when I get home, but he's never like been there in the moment. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but like it's fine. He's my dad. He has to love me. I tell you what, when the opening chords of The Greatest Show come on, I am going to go off. I really hope that the people sitting next to us are like decent people who are genuinely into the show because the worst thing in the world is sitting next to people at concerts who are just like not having it. It's like, why are you even here? But yeah, regardless, I'm gonna go off whenever I hear any single Greatest Showman song, um, except for Never Enough because I hate that song because that lady is a husband stealing bad person. Eventually. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I was going to show you my outfit, but Tildy, Matilda. Tilly, it's time to get up, come on. Oh, thank you very much, that's so nice of you. Okay, so this is what I have in mind. I was thinking these red shorts, I've had these for a really, really long time and I just think they're kind of like, I don't know, it kind of has like that show vibe, you know? And then I've got my glittery top as well, which again, I think is kind of like fun. Um, 
you literally got up three seconds ago and you're already sitting on something. Um, and then obviously I have my tights because it's freezing. It's the middle of winter in Melbourne, not fun. And then, how cool are these socks? They have little like musical notes all over them, which I think is just so, so wicked. Cool. So I think that might be my outfit. I'm gonna try it on and see. I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you soon. First of all, we are going to collectively agree to ignore the extensive amount of lipstick that is on my face. Okay, so we had a change in the game plan. I changed my top because um, I feel like the other one's kind of like too festival -y and too kind of like not right for a kind of upmarket concert. So I've got this one on now. I think it's kind of cool. I still got like the sparkles going on here. This is my sister's. So Gemma, if you see this, I'm sorry. It kind of gives me pirate vibes, but like also still kind of gives me like Hugh Jackman, Great Showman vibes. So I'm going to go and force my sister to take Instagram photos of me. And then I'll catch up with you guys soon. Okay, bye. Okay, so we've just arrived at the hotel. Dad has gone out to go and get some things from the shop. So I'm really, really excited. Oh, I'm really excited. Wait, I haven't given you a full outfit. Um view yet because um, I changed it up. This is what we are working with. I actually really like it. I pieced this together literally last second and I'm really quite happy with it. And then this is what we have got going on on the legs. Um, and then yeah, that's kind of it and I'm really excited. And then yeah, all right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hear the shakiness in my usually very loud voice? That's because I'm already crying. My brain cells are already disintegrating. I am literally giving myself an aneurysm while scaring every neighboring person around me as I sang, well, screamed every word. Every word. So for that reason, and you know, copyright, here's a sick montage instead. Oh, this is a great ass show! really tired so we just went back to the hotel and pretty much went to sleep straight away um that's a lie i was buzzing all night anyway let me give you a rundown hugh jackman is the best performer i have ever seen ever now i know that i said this with everything i know that i'm a very like overly the top positive person and i always say like everything's the best thing i've ever seen but I am not kidding when I say Hugh Jackman is genuinely, actually, properly the best thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. His stage presence, his singing, his dancing, he was crying during some of the songs, he was laughing during some of the songs. The way that he interacts with the crowd, and not just like in a way that like, you know, like how Harry Styles would interact with the crowd. If you're a Harry fan, you understand what I'm talking about. The way that like Harry interacts with the crowd where he's like, talks to fans and having a little chit chat or whatever, that is literally like a 2% compared to what Hugh Jackman does. This whole concert is just like a story time with the added features of like a million song and dances. Like the whole thing. It just seemed like it went on for ages, but like in the best way possible. Like the whole thing was just song after song after song after song. And it wasn't just him, but it was also like the way that the stage was done and like his guest acts and like the bands and like the orchestra and everything. He had all of these beautiful opera and musical guest theater stars who all came in and like helped him sing different parts of the songs. There was this one girl who sang I Dreamed a Dream with him who was insane. But let me tell you about the greatest showman section because let's be honest that was the main reason i went he opened with the greatest show which makes sense because like that was the opener of the film like it makes sense for like being the opener of the tour oh my goodness when i first heard that first like ah, i was gone i was out i was stealing my little heart out i was already crying i was a mess on the floor it was then he sang come alive which like it just like transitioned and come alive and i was 
dead at this point. A Million Dreams, incredible. There was this whole dance number, they sign language the whole thing. I don't know why they sign language that and like nothing else, but the fact that the whole thing was done in sign language, which was so beautiful, cried my eyes out. Let's talk about This Is Me because Girl. Kiala came out. Now, Kiala is one of my favorite singers of all time. I only discovered her after The Greatest Showman, but ever since I discovered her, I have been so obsessed with her. I love her message. I love what she stands for. I love her voice. I love her personality. I think she's just the most beautiful soul of a person. She came out like midway to sing This Is Me. And as soon as I heard that opening piano, gone. I was gone. I, they, I had no hope of surviving that song. Oh, I cried during this song. Like, I cried during this concert. Like, eh, like, no, 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 no. When I say I cried during This Is Me, I mean ugly, sobbing, snot. My body was shaking. Like, it was, I was a state. My mascara, everywhere. My eyeliner had stained my white top. She is so incredible. She is so empowering. I love her so much. She was wearing like this beautiful gold like glittery dress. She's so beautiful. She was crying too, which just made me cry even more. And then, okay. So during the intermission, I ran out to the bathroom to try and like clean the panda eyes off my face because my mascara had literally gone everywhere. And I was like, this is like not cute. Like this is not a look. And I just hear this little kid scream out my name at the top of their lungs. And I was like, what's going on? I turn around. And there's this little kid there and she's wearing like a greatest showman outfit and a flower crown and she takes one look at me and she sees that I've been crying and she's obviously been crying too. I'm going to cry again. She sees that I've been crying and she's obviously been crying too. And she bolts up to me and gives me the biggest cuddle around my waist and then she just says, she sang our song. She sang our song and I was, cr I'm going to cry again. Oh my god, stop. And then she says, when we were all singing that song, for a few moments, every single one of us in that room were different, not less. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. And I just think that's so cool. And it's not like cool like on a personal level, like, oh, like tee hee, like some girl knows me, like whatever. It's so cool because this song has influenced so many kids that didn't have a voice or who felt like they didn't have a voice or whose voice had been silenced. And when that song was being sung, this kid who was like seven felt like she belonged and felt like it wasn't so bad and it wasn't so scary to be who she was. And I just think that is so flipping cool, man. But yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> huh. Overall, it was a good concert. It was a really good experience. 10 out of 10 recommend. 11 out of 10 recommend. 58 out of 10 recommend. It was so good. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet and he's still coming to see your country, city, whatever, do yourself a favor and see it because it is the best experience I have ever had. He is the most incredible performer. You will not be disappointed. I can promise. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you would like to see more of these sort of videos or you would like to hang around and join our family, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, press the bell notification. I don't mind. Do whatever makes you feel happy. Do whatever makes you feel good. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Go see Hugh Jackman on tour. Just be